Hi, this is Chris McKaylee, and I'm hoping in this video podcast to give a broad overview of the California budget process. You know, the state budget process on paper is similar to the legislative process. However, as you would expect, it can definitely be different in its practical terms. The full budget committees of the Senate, the Senate Budget and Fiscal Review Committee, and the Assembly, the Assembly Budget Committee, act mostly as the final arbiter for their respective houses when it comes to finalizing the actions of their subcommittees and the budget bills and trailer bills don't go to other policy committees or standing committees of the legislature for consideration. So what are the main parts of the budget? You have the budget bill, of course. It contains the individual appropriations and budget bill language. Note that the budget bill and the budget bill junior are the only ones that contain multiple appropriations. And due to the passage by the voters of Prop 25, it requires a majority vote for passage and the budget bill takes effect immediately. Then there's the budget bill junior, which makes amendments to that budget bill. There can be often in these past few years, more than one budget bill junior. Uh, the plural is budget bills junior. And then we have uh, trailer bills, which are designed to make statutory changes that are needed to implement the budget. But as we know, uh, more recent years, in the last decades plus, there's often uh, substantive policy also being done in those trailer bills. Um, in some ways, it's the same as any other bill to make statutory changes, but it takes effect immediately with a majority vote if it contains an appropriation and is related to the budget bill and is listed as such in the budget bill. There are also what's called a supplemental report, which is a report that requests specific actions. It's done by the legislature and it requires actions from state agencies and departments. Now it's a request, so it doesn't have the force of law like a bill. What's the timing? <clears throat> you know, there are only two constitutional deadlines. By the 10th day in January, the governor has to propose the budget. And by June 15th, the legislature has to pass the budget. The only main uh, date out there is, of course, the start of our fiscal year in California, which is July 1 of each year, as opposed to the federal uh, fiscal year, which is October 1 to September 30th. Now, the Assembly Budget Committee and the Senate Budget and Fiscal Review Committee, they're the ones charged with adopting the state budget and those trailer bills. So once the governor has submitted the budget by January 10th, both of the budget committee staff get underway and provide a summary overview of the governor's budget. And a similar document is prepared by the Legislative Analyst Office who advises the governor I'm sorry, who advises the legislature and provides an analysis of the governor's budget. As we know, the uh, governor's entity is the Department of Finance, known usually as DOF or finance. In early March, the Assembly and Senate subcommittees begin holding hearings and taking public testimony, as well as testimony from the respected and respective uh, state agencies and departments. Of course, the Department of Finance that presents the governor's perspective and the LAO that provides independent analysis to the, uh, uh, to the legislature. And certainly the public, as I mentioned, can also testify. And this is, you know, a critical time where folks advocate for specific budget requests, <clears throat> make additional ones, make different ones, new ones, reduce some. And most of the work on the California budget actually occurs at this subcommittee level in the five subcommittees in the, of the Senate Budget and Fiscal Review and the six subcommittees of the Assembly Budget Committee. Prior to these hearings, the budget committee staff members 
are examining the governor's budget proposals, preparing agendas that uh, naturally include an explanation of the governor's budget proposals and their own recommendations, whether to accept or modify or hold open or reject the governor's budget proposals. Sometimes, in fact, in many instances, the governor's budget proposals are held open for further discussions, uh, as well as uh, to await the outcome of the governor's May revise. And the minority party staff prepare similar information and recommendations for their members. So by the time that the governor issues the May revise or the May budget revision, which occurs after the April tax receipts are known, then the budget subcommittees have to quickly conclude their deliberations within two weeks or so at the most. And as such, at that point, it's far more difficult for the public to have much more input, uh, especially when it comes to entirely new budget proposals, for example, that are put forth in the May revise. What about the reconciliation of differences? Well, historically, those differences between the assembly passed budget and the Senate passed budget were handled by the two house conference committee. Uh, but some of those requirements have been waived altogether in recent years due to the pandemic or really the time constraints now to establish and have the budget conference committee deliberate. Historically, the two houses rotated the chairpersonship of that conference committee. And again, that process was used to address the differences between the two uh, versions. And the conference committee's deliberations were open to the public and broadcast. There wasn't public testimony taken, but at least uh, the public could hear the statements made to the conferees by the Department of Finance and the legislative analyst and the deliberations and the public statements made by the conferees. Now, however, uh, the conference committees have, uh, our conference committee has largely been done away with. And so all of those reconciliation discussions and negotiations now take place behind closed doors between the governor's office and Department of Finance and the two legislative leaders and their staff and the budget uh, committee chairs and their staff. You know, the state departments have to uh, submit their budget proposals to their respective agencies well in advance, who then have to submit their proposals in the late fall for, to the Department of Finance so that the DOF can consider them and make recommendations and then uh, discuss them with the governor and have the governor and uh, the governor's senior staff making final determinations so that the budget is all put together and can be released no later than January 10th. The governor's budget, as well as the May revise and the final budget uh, are found on the Department of Finance website they have an e-budget tab. You know, the budget itself is well in excess of 1,300 pages in length and contains details of the governor's budget and then, of course, the ultimate budget that is adopted by the legislature. Each item is assigned a 10-digit code, which includes the State Department, the, the purpose of it, and the funding source. The legislative budget subcommittees are known by numbers in both the Assembly and Senate. Education is handled by Senate Budget Subcommittee number one and Assembly Budget Subcommittee number two. Resources in the environment by Senate Subcommittee number two and Assembly Subcommittee number three. Health and Human Services is uh, heard by both the Senate Budget Subcommittee number three and the Assembly Subcommittee number one. State government is the same, budget and uh, Senate budget and assembly budget subcommittees number four. Public safety and the judiciary are handled by the same number, uh, the Senate budget subcommittee number five and assembly budget subcommittee number five. So what are some of the key phrases to be aware of? Um, state agencies submit what they call budget change proposals, most often referred to as 
BCPs that contain proposed expenditures and budget changes to existing levels of service that are used to prepare the governor's budget. And these BCPs, you can see them on the Department of Finance website. Uh, these are these BCPs are distinguished from a deficiency request. The deficiency request is where an agency or department has an unanticipated increased increases in its cost that exceed the funding that was appropriated for the agency in the state budget. And so in these types of cases, the agency or the department will request a deficiency appropriation. Uh, budget control language, BCL, is language contained in the budget bill that provides conditions on the use of a specific appropriation that's contained in the budget. There's also finance letters. Finance letters are proposals made by the director of finance to the chairs of the two budget committees to amend the budget bill and the governor's January uh, 10 proposal in order to reflect a revised plan of expenditure. So as you can hear, the budget uh, bill, while it's the largest and undoubtedly most significant bill in the California legislative process, it goes through its own sort of legislative process and it has its own players, its own terminology uh, that folks should be aware of if you have any provisions that are contained in either the budget, a budget bill junior, or of course a budget trailer bill.